Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. I have something very special for y'all this afternoon, and that is a new base design. That's right. Um, for some reason, I feel like doing a cup base. Um, I'm going to try and push up a little higher in the trophy so that I can uh, go after that dark elixir a little more. So I'm going to make a cup base for you guys. So here we go. Let me see what you think. Um, as you can see right now, the uh, walls are there by themselves. So if you want a screenshot or anything like that, um, to do anything like this then go ahead now but the first thing about a cup base obviously is the fact that the town hall is in the middle because if you're trying to protect your trophies then that's where you want it um, and also as many of you may know um, hopefully you do if you're in an active clan you know that the clan castle is probably your best defense especially if you are in an active clan so make sure that that is in the middle um, next we're going to be putting our mortars in the middle one, two, and three. It's always best to triangulate them so that they can best cover the base. Um, it wouldn't be bad for them to be in a position like this either, um, but they don't have to be there. I would rather have them um, more fortified in in the middle. So we're actually going to put those back. But if you want to use that as an option for you, then you can go ahead and do that as well. Um, so our mortars are in place. Next most important is the wizards. Um, splash damage is huge in in this game. Um, it's very, very, very important to upgrade your mortars and your wizard towers first, in my opinion, and in the opinion of a lot of other peoples. So um, we are going to be putting our wizard towers right there. And we're also going to be bringing in our air defenses and putting those... Um, there it is. And putting those in uh, in a triangle around the base as well, just so that they can cover the majority of it. Um, so you can see those are in a triangle right now, um, as are the mortars. And we are going to put our other wizard tower right. Let's scoot this over. Let's put that other wizard tower right here in the middle. So as you can see, those are triangulated as well. Um, next, we are just going to bring in a cannon and fill in this little spot right here. <clears throat> um, and since this is a cup base we don't care as much about resources um, especially elixir because it's elixir is very very easy to come by with rating it's gold that is the most important um, because that's what you use to upgrade all of your defenses for the most part so gold is the most important so we are going to be protecting that um, where's the other one it is right here. So we bring those in here into the center um, as well as these collectors. Where is... Sorry guys. All my stuff spread out. Um, so that's where that's going to go. And then next we are going to actually remove this. And come on. I wish that there was like a, a builder tool or something that you could use for Clash of Clans, but you can't, whatever. Um, so let's continue on, guys. We are going to take our Barbarian King, put him up here at the top, um, and then we are going to grab a, sorry about that, we're going to grab a Tesla, bring that up here as well. Hopefully I can get done with this before 20% of my battery goes out, um, and we are going to put <clears throat> this down here as well. I actually think that I am going to move my um, <laughs> my Screaming Barbarian King up here just so he's a little bit closer to everything. Um, and we are going to put this right here as well as we're going to take this Archer Tower, put him right down here in the corner. Um, you want to have your Archers in in a pretty good area to, um, sorry, we're actually going to put that guy right here. I could have grabbed this other one. Um, your archers and your cannons are your point defenses, um, so they don't have radius issues like the mortar does, as you can see that little red line around it. Um, so you want to make sure that <clears throat> they are spread out evenly throughout, um, throughout the base. I made a couple of changes to this earlier. As I was making it, I designed it in um, 
I designed it in the base builder program and then it uh, I don't know while I was working on it I came up with a couple of revisions if you will to it um, we're bringing our Tesla's up in here up in here <laughs> as well as our um, cannons Archer Tower. Where's the other cannon? Where is it? Where are you, cannon? Do I not have any more cannon? Hmm. Uh, what did I do? We're going to put this Archer Tower right here for now. No, this Archer Tower goes up here. Yeah, that's what it was. So now this way you have um, archers all around the base, and I'm sorry, I'm pretty much botching this recording, aren't I? What did I have there? That's how it was. Yep, there we go. So, guys, there is the inside of the base. I'm I'm sorry for <laughs> it's kind of hard to um, to commentate and focus on where you're placing these things. But this is this is pretty much where um, I remember having it. And you know, I like I like I like this layout. I think that it's going to work well. Let's see what I have in here. Let's request one. I love archers um, in my clan castle. Um, but anyway, so. Here's the base design, guys. Um, I think that it's going to work really, really well, especially with the traps in there. Um, but we can bring in, we can bring in everything from the sides now as well. Um, just moving mines and collectors and everything around. I think I'm going to put my army camps up towards the front. And you don't really have to see any of this stuff. But anyways, guys, there is the base design right there. Let me know what you think. I think that um, obviously I'm going to rearrange my walls a little bit. But I do think that this is going to work pretty well for me. Um, my they, they can get into my town hall. But um, with the way that the defenses are spread out and, and covering it, I think that it will do a pretty good job of, of stopping them from getting in too close. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see how this goes. But anyways, guys, that's uh, going to be it for this. I'm going to continue putting these things around uh, the rest of my buildings, and we'll see how it goes. But guys, thanks again, as always, for watching. Um, you guys are the best. Y'all rule. Uh, keep calm and clash on. I'll see you later, guys.